Okay, so first of all, you can filter using the filter button. Go to sort and filter and then select the filtering option. You can also use the keyboard shortcut control shift and L. So that is what I will do. And then this will put downwards pointing arrows in at the top of your range and you can select them and then go to number filters and these are all the different options you can choose from. So I'm going to filter for values greater than 0 0.5 and OK and now you can see that the table has been filtered. Then you can get rid of the filter by selecting clear filter and you can remove the filter buttons at the top by going back to sort and filter and choosing the filter selection again. Now another method you can use for filtering is Excel's old auto filter. So you'll need to add this to the quick access toolbar by right clicking and going to more commands. Then choosing commands not in the ribbon and selecting auto filter and then adding it to the quick access toolbar and OK. And then at the bottom of the table, in the column you want to filter, type in your filtering criteria. So for example, greater than 0 0.5. Then make sure you have this cell selected and go to the quick access toolbar and use the auto filter. And this will filter the table again. So you can see that it's now showing only numbers that are greater than 0 0.5 and all of the other rows have been hidden. And another way of doing this is to right click on this cell and go to filter and filter by selected cells value. And that will get you the same result. Then you can also filter by converting this into a table. So I'll press Control T to make a table and OK. And then I don't particularly like the table formatting, so I'm just going to clear that. You can tell that it's still a table because of this mark in the bottom right hand corner down here. But Converting it into a table will automatically add in the filter buttons for you and you can filter in the same exact way. So I will filter for values greater than 0 0.5 again. And then if you want to copy these results to another place, you can do that just by selecting everything and then right click and copy. And you can see from the green lines that it's only selected the areas that are visible. So if I go down here now, I can right click and paste. And I have a copy of the filtered table. I can also right click and paste as a link. And this changes each of the cells here to a cell reference linking back to the original table. So if I change a number in here now, it will be updated down here. Another method you can use for filtering is the advanced filter. So to use the advanced filter, you need to type in the heading of the column you want to filter and then the criteria that you want to filter on, so greater than 0 0.5 in my case. Then go to data and choose advanced filter. And at the moment, the option is selected for filter the list in place. That's what we've previously been doing. I'm going to change this to copy to another location. The list range is the table you want to filter then the criteria range is the stuff we just typed in so the column heading and then the criteria you want to filter on and then copy to is the place you want the table to be copied to so you only need to select the first cell and then OK and now we have the same table filtered here
You can also filter using a pivot table. So select somewhere inside the table and go to insert and pivot table. Then I'm going to copy it to an existing worksheet and put it here and OK. Then I'll move the compound into the rows option and the number into the values option. And this makes a similar table to the original one. Then we can filter this by using the downwards pointing arrow here. So label filters will filter the compound names and then value filters will filter the actual numbers. So you, I'll filter for values greater than 0 0.5 again. And now I have another filtered version of the table. I'm just going to format this really quickly. So I'll remove the grand total and I will also change the formatting on here to be a light formatting. And I will change the names to be compound. And then here I will change it to number. Now I can't have the name number because it's already being used for something else inside the pivot table. So I'll just add a space after the word number and then that is acceptable. And I'll also copy the formatting from here. And then I have a similar table to the one I had before. And this table will be updated if I add new values to the original table or if I change any of these numbers here. So if I add something in at the bottom, then in order to get the pivot table to update, I either need to right click and refresh or I need to go to pivot table analysis and refresh here or I can use the keyboard shortcut, which is Alt F5. So I'll use the keyboard shortcut. And now you can see this extra value down the bottom here has been added on. And it changed the column widths as well, because I had previously changed the headings, so they're shorter now. You can also use Power Query to filter and this works in a very similar way to the pivot table. So if I select somewhere inside the table again and go to data, then select from table slash range, and I'm going to be making a query using my table, then I can use the filter button to filter again using these options. So I'll filter for values greater than 0.5 and OK. And now I have filtered this. I will load it back into Excel using close and load two. And I will put it in an existing worksheet. And I'll put it here and enter and OK. And now I have a, another table, which is a filtered version of the original table. I will select this and then get rid of the table formatting and then copy this formatting here. And now I can add another value into the bottom here. And the power query can be updated in the same way as the pivot table. So you can select refresh or use the keyboard shortcut Alt F5 and you can see the extra value has been added on the bottom. Now you can also use dynamic arrays to filter values using the filter formula. So this is equals filter, then select the table you want to filter on, and I'm going to filter to include only numbers which are greater than 0.5, and close brackets and enter. And now you can see we have the same table here, which we have here. And I will just copy and paste the headings. And then I will add in another value down here. And you can see the filter formula has been automatically updated. 
Now at the moment, the filter formula is only available in Google Sheets and in the newest version of Excel, but hopefully it will become more widely available soon. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you multiple different methods that you can use for filtering in Excel. And the method that you choose will depend on what you want to use it for. And that is everything.